Hey, you out there. This is my Erin Parade 2021, part three. So we have a wide variety of, there's a lot of crystals. Uh, I was experimenting with some Austrian crystals. Um, there's some cats, uh, some Czech glass cat beads that I just made some simple pieces with. <clears throat> and these were, I think, Brittany, she was doing Brittany Chavers had the color challenge and I'd like to put more seed beads in the chain. It's kind of not that exciting. I'd like to redo those. So we'll take a look at these and uh, yeah. Okay, here we have some simple earrings using like links from Chain, some Austrian crystal and some uh, neon uh, check beads. With a, I think most of these are antique brass findings of some kind. All right, so I mean, essentially they're pretty similar. There's a little variance here and there, you know, moving a circle above or below something or switching colors around here, you know. So you get a little variety. It's a little asymmetry. Yeah, it's just, you know, some chain link. I like to use chain links for decorative stuff. Uh, I could have done tighter wire wrapping. See how loose that is on there. But it is what it is. I'm not, it doesn't really bother me. Like, that's pretty loose. See how loose those bead caps are. It's like, I'm not, like, terribly fond of that work I did. But, you know, I could... I could do something with it. I could like take a, a really thin wire and like make a additional wire wrap on top and make it tighter if I didn't want to take it apart. So yeah, you see that's just like a link from some inexpensive like chain probably from a craft store. Okay, so these look pretty dramatic, but, uh, you know, it's, it's not too complicated. It is a lot of links, and there is a lot of wrapping for the dangles. And, you know, that just really takes practice. So, you know, I use a uh, dark black craft wire. And see, they, the, so the craft wire is so soft, so, like, it can get bent a little bit. And you may have to like adjust when you use soft craft wire because it's like dead soft. So it's kind of just like a messy wrap up there. It's not like precise and just dangles of check uh, fire polish. They kind of look like lapis lazuli. They're really beautiful. And you know, more check beads, uh, neon colors with, <clears throat> sorry really simple bead caps. I love simple bead caps. They're actually a pain to find for some reason. But you see here the abrasion on these crystals, even though, you know, the, the fancy crystals, that plating is very sensitive and it doesn't like to be rubbed against anything. So, you know, it's a beautiful stone, glass stone. Oh, it's just got so much depth. I think it's astral pink. That's like my favorite of the crystal of that Austrian brand. And then, you know, there's some, they have the skulls and I was like, oh my goodness, I am into these shapes. I love these shapes, not just like those bicones, but I love. Okay, so here, it's just those crystal skulls with a crystal rondelles 
spacer here or there, and a crystal that's just being super simple um, on a head pin, like a thermal head pin. So you can see that. I think that's also astral pink skull. It's really got beautiful detailing. Yeah, so this is me trying to experiment with crystals because I mean, had a hard time with them for a long time. And then more Austrian crystal and some fire polish. Wow, those beads are just, ah, they're really fascinating. There's so much sparkle. I love that orange, that fiery orange. Okay, these were for Brittany Chaver's um, color challenge, and yeah, so I'm, they're super simple, but yeah, I mm, I want to add more seed beads definitely to that chain. Just fill it up, just stuff it, <laughs> make it look like a caterpillar. <laughs> so yeah, it's just some dangles, seed beads, and polymer clay and a check bead chain. I mean, you see, it, <clears throat> if you watch my other videos, you're, you're going to see a lot of the same stuff. So here we have some swore, you know, little stone, but, you know, I like the look, but it looks like it has not, doesn't have much abrasion on it right now. But, uh, Looks like it's okay, but that that loop will cause abrasion. So I don't know. I I don't know if I'm gonna keep them like this. But these two, you see, they're similar. One's a loop uh, on a drop, and one's a loop on a link type crystal. Okay, these are really simple. Um, I forget what these the shape is called of the crystal. So it's just a magnesite bead with some beads inside. Just an eye pin again with the dangle. Look at that faceting. The faceting is really amazing. Yeah, so you use a big jump ring because it's a pretty thick crystal. So you need a pretty big jump ring to fit through there. Yep, it's really simple. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, my arm. I apologize. Okay, so I got a strand of some check beads of the black cats with the gold wash. Now it's trying to make some super simple earrings for some people at work like cats and everybody picked out the complicated ones <laughs> so I don't have those like some had like quartz crystals uh, these are Thulite I got the Thulite from Dakota Stones it's just on a head pin that's it just a decorative head pin that's all there is to it super simple See that head pin. And then these are a little bit fancier with that brass washer <laughs> from a hardware store. Um, it's 100% brass, and uh, I didn't do anything to it. It had some nice edges, and I like the texture. So you can go through a hardware store and look through their washers, and uh, yeah, there's all kinds. They make great components, and they're very inexpensive. You can hammer them and texture them, and you can get copper, and you can do liver of sulfur and patina. So yeah, it's just it's just a hardware store washer. It just happens to have a really gorgeous finish, and some just random little charms. There's the cats. It's just some simple wire work links. 
Okay, so here again, like if you see my other videos in this Earring Parade 2021, um, it's the loop. And this one does have a dangle of a stone and some uh, spacer beads, but it's a dyed uh, fire agate. Yeah, so here's, you can see that it's still a stone. Very simple design. Some seed beads just looped around there. The little seed seed beads going through the big hole of that that bead. It has really big holes. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of hard to see. But my screen that I'm editing in is really tiny and it's hard to see. So hopefully you can see it. So I filled that also with seed beads. Oh man, I'm really trying to get a good view of that. <clears throat> so it's just looped up and pulled through, um, connecting some more seed beads at the top. And there's like a little tiny link of chain right there. Really, those little links of chain, like it, it has like a nice, little flash and shape to it. So I love to save little pieces like that. Okay, so these were an experiment. This is just like playing around with some carnelian and some craft wire, making some kind of like messy nests. So they're, they're, they're both a little different. Just random, no, no rolls really. Just make a lump using some chip beads. Turn it into a connector, the little loop at the top, and yeah, it's that dangle idea on an eye pin with a little bit of embellishment. What do you think? Is it, I know, it might be not your thing, but you know, I just try to experiment. So the ball, little wad things aren't exactly the same size. There's a little difference, but I'm not really concerned because if you're wearing them, most people aren't gonna notice the difference. You know, the space, you know, your face between the earrings gives it distance. It's like it's not like so critical. So these, I think, are not 2021, but I was like, why not add them? They're fun. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have a ceramic bead with some wax linen, uh, rhinestone, and there you can see there's a little wrap around there on that ball head pin. I'm trying to bring that wax linen down through there. That ceramic bead has a big hole, and so the wax linen also wraps the cup chain to the ear wire. So you get a really dramatic look, but it, it doesn't weigh very much. It's very simple. Okay, so you don't want to really mix your crystal beads up like this because the abrasion, um, yeah. Anyways, like leave me comments below. I'll put information in the description if I need to. But yeah, so I gotta figure out what I wanna do with those, whoops. <laughs> Yeah, I like it, but I don't know. I gotta figure something out. I should actually, uh, like you know, put them in a black a bag, you know, like this, and that'll keep them from rubbing against each other. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know how you're doing. Love to hear from you guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'm. I know I've, I've been trying to cut out my coughing and, man, there's only so much I can cut out. <laughs>
Love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Keep on beating. Don't notice that little thing that fell off. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to figure that out now. Great.